Uh, this truly is a historic day. I don't think I've seen you dressed up since our senior prom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our one and only date together because no one else would go with us. I remember showing up in that sweet, homemade, million-dollar man suit. Didn't you wear a cane mask? No wonder we couldn't get dates. To be fair, the theme of the prom was a masquerade. Eh, still weird. You have the list, right? No, I thought you had it. Seriously? I put it in the safe just like you told me to. Man, the way you treat that thing, you'd think it was the Magnet Carta. Did you say Magnet? Yeah, it's some really old, valuable magnet, right? Just get it out of there. <sighs> no one was going to break into a hotel room and steal an old piece of notebook paper from high school. It's not just an old piece of paper. That list has been the roadmap to our entire careers, and now there's only one thing left to cross off. Did you forget the combination? It might have slipped my mind. But don't worry, I wrote it down on my phone. Which is also in the safe. This is why I always said we should have got the list tattooed on us. No chance of losing it and we'd have way more street cred. Yeah? Well, I'm gonna be getting a teardrop tattoo if you don't get that thing open. This is what's going to give us confidence, recognition, success, everything we've ever wanted. Your Earth Science Notebook is going to do all that? No. We're going to use it to make a list of everything we'll accomplish someday when we become WWE superstars. We could do that. Or we could play my favorite lunchtime game, Guess What Mr. Bowman's Sweat Stains Look Like Today. I'm kind of seeing a heart shape. What do you think? I think you need to take this seriously. Besides, it's a proven fact that if you write down your goals, it helps you achieve them. Actually, now I'm thinking it looks more like a one-eared rabbit. Fine. I'll go first to get the ball rolling. Become WWE Divas Champion. Your turn. Okay. Star in a WWE action movie. Really? That's one of your goals? Do you want me to do the list or not? Besides, it's a proven fact, WWE action movies are some of the finest pieces of cinematic art ever produced, so it would be an honor to appear in one. Whatever. Train at the dungeon. Come up with awesome wrestling names. Team with Mickey James. Get my own action figure. Compete on NXT. Win a dance-off. Wrestle Lita. Find out what's inside Undertaker's urn. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Be in a WWE video game. Win a ladder match. I've got a match for you. My butt, your face. What are you two fartwads doing? <laughs> this table is reserved for wrestling team members only. I thought there was a lot of boogers stuck underneath it. <laughs> Bunny, you can leave now. Sorry, we're busy. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey! Being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <sighs> that was a huge mistake.
to see Red put Brooklyn in her place. Oh, so much for unbiased commentary. Hey, this is Red's memory of how it went down, so of course I'm pulling for her. You are too. Oh, yeah, I am. Go, Red! This reminds me of that movie with the spinning top. Everything's confusing and a little bit off. For example, I wasn't even a WWE commentator when Red was in high school. Well, you're barely a WWE commentator now. None of this makes sense. Just sit back and enjoy the ride, Saxton. <sighs> Brooklyn Von Braun is a terrible human being and deserves everything she's getting here tonight. I could not agree more, Michael. the real fart wad. Brooklyn might have an opening here. Brooklyn gets nailed with the sliding once trade takedown. Can Red capitalize? She's going up top. Red with the picture perfect. It's all over. Red cemented herself as way tougher and cooler than Brooklyn will ever be. That's exactly what happens when you make fun of Red. You pay dearly. I'm still kind of confused about everything that just happened, guys. Well, don't hurt your imaginary head, Byron. <laughs> 